On any given issue, we all have a view. And it's a good thing. We all need to know how we feel, what we see, and where we stand. We should be fully committed to our point of view. However, we must not be so committed that we can't set it aside to consider a different point of view. I can look into this camera, or I can look into this one over here. Both offer a different perspective. Sometimes our perspectives vary slightly from those around us. Sometimes they're radically different. It's unfortunate if we surround ourselves with people who simply agree or defer to our perspective. It actually robs us of the ability to see the situation or the issue from a broader frame of reference. I don't know about you, but I love the occasional 3D movie. I love the vivid uh, experience of having that broader and deeper view of the scene. Th this is accomplished by 3D glasses that polarize light in two different directions. One lens polarizes the light horizontally, while the other polarizes vertically. This allows your brain to take those two differing images and merge them into one that gives that depth of perspective that we love in a 3D movie. Similarly, in a conversation with another person whose perspective is different than ours, we can develop a broader, deeper sense of the reality of the issue we are discussing if we're willing to consider both perspectives simultaneously. Unfortunately, most of us tend to want to think right or wrong, to superimpose one image over the other. And when we do that, like those lenses of the, the 3D glasses, we get blackout. This is what happened for me and my wife many times early in our marriage, when we thought in terms of one of us being right and the other wrong. Since then, we've realized that if we can embrace both perspectives, knowing that my brain and hers view the world in different ways, neither of which is necessarily right or wrong, we're able to come up with a perspective that allows us to make better decisions and to work together more effectively. Our society tends to make, make us want to think that there is a right and a wrong way. It tends to make us think that it's Democrat or Republican, liberal or conservative. Thankfully, God has another perspective. When we look to Him, we realize that all of our perspectives are insanely limited. In fact, God says, as high as the heavens are above the earth, so are His thoughts above ours. If any of us like to think we have it figured out, well, good luck with that. God will always trump our perspective and remind us that we can have unity without uniformity. We can have the ability to embrace those who see things from slightly or radically different points of view if we trust that in the end, God has the final word. Our job is to try to engage discourse in the way that we engage a 3D movie, honoring two different perspectives and trying to bring them together with God's help. It's a difficult thing to have 3D conversations, but we can engage it if we trust God and if we're patient and humble. God bless you as you seek to engage in conversations that let Him have the final say.